Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe. But if you're already part of the crew, so loot. But today we're gonna be taking a look at the ZTE Blade V Smart um v20 smart after five days and i've been using this device for five days um i've been really liking this device so we're going to talk about the display the the weight of the phone we're going to talk about what comes in the box the processing chip the battery cameras and the connectivity to the internet so right here you can see it does give you some of the specs we get a 6.82 inch display Four gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of internal storage, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. They do offer, you know, the SIM card remover tool. Um, this box was actually pretty sweet. They gave you these cool compartments, which included the charging brick right here as well. And uh, this device is just under, you know, $200, which is a good price point for this phone. And what it has to offer. So the first thing I want to talk about is the display of this device. We do get some, uh, the cable, and I believe they even did not include some headphones, which is something that's cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so we did get these, these headphones. They are pretty cheap, but that's cool that they did offer that in the package. Now, as far as the display on this device, it's 6.8 inches has facial recognition as you can see it just it, it, it's really quick let's see you don't get the double tap to wake but maybe we do i just haven't really gotten to that yet i really just want to talk about my experience we do get the pull down to get to the notifications and look how big the display looks so this display is really nice um it's a 21 by 9 aspect ratio so it's going to be really tall really narrow and one of the things I noticed is that when you look at this display on the sides, it kind of curves like this. It has like a, it's almost like a, let me see if you can see the angle that it has to it right there. It's, it's got like a little lip. So it's not a perfect 90 degree angle. It kind of has a slant on both sides. So when you're holding it like this, you could put your hands right here on the side rails and rest it right there and it, it feels really comfortable. I've never seen that on another phone before. So as far as the feel in the hand, this thing feels absolutely great because you those side rails, it lets you kind of like hold on to that, that angle. And like, even when you're holding it this way, you could feel it more because of that angle, it gives you a little bit of better grip. So I don't know if you can see that, but that looks cool. And then the, the bottom has this like indented uh, shape to it with a headphone jack. Type C, a microphone, and a single firing speaker. You do get a microphone up top as well. You do get lift to wake on this device, I believe. Yeah, so it makes it a lot easier to unlock. And you can see we do get a punch hole cut out on the front, which looks pretty, pretty decent, you know, and you do get a substantial amount of lip on the bottom. So, you know, not, not bad. But as far as this display overall, it's 720 by 1640 Full HD Plus with 263 pixels per inch. So it's a medium density display, but it has a water drop notch. So if you're looking at like multimedia or even social, social media, you're gonna be looking at um, a really nice screen. Um, it has a nice flow to it. Everything that I did on it, it was just really smooth. I couldn't complain whatsoever. Um, one of the things that I really like about it was just the scrolling speeds. Um, it has an IPS LCD display and a medium density display like i said before but just the way this thing is built it's frameless it's like it just has a nice solid feel to it you get the same um, indented top as well microphone on the top microphone on the bottom so i really like the build and then look at the back of it i didn't even talk about that yet so the thing i like about the other thing about the build is that the cameras are flush in the phone on the back of it right here so you can kind of see right here, it just, it's in, it's inside of the phone. So a lot of cameras, they pop out. I kind of wish more phones did it like this. That looks really cool guys, but let me know what you guys think. I also like the shimmer on the back. It's really smooth and it has a nice glossy texture to it. It's plastic. The whole thing is plastic, but it has a nice shimmer to it, which makes, which makes it looks even more premium than it is. So that's something that's awesome about this device guys. 
So I just, that's the first thing I wanted to talk about was the display of this device. Now the second thing, after five days of using it, it's just got really quick facial recognition and the fingerprint on the side is cool. I like that as well. It's really snappy and fast. It also doubles as a power button. So if you hold that, you get your restart power off. You get your gestures on this device. So everything is just really simple to get to. Snappy and everything like that. I'm using Mint Mobile at the moment and I'm connected to Wi-Fi. I can disconnect and show you that it does say T-Mobile and uh, it does say the 4G. So uh, this device will take 4G um, internet and when you're on the phone calls, it does uh, transfer over to the 3G, but the internet has been really fast on this thing. It's Everything just opens really quickly. I haven't had any issues with the T-Mobile network on the mint mobile sim so honestly everything is just really zippy um on this device as well but like i said they put the pat the fingerprint sensor here which is pretty cool also you get like that um i don't know if you saw that lock screen but it's a different lock screen every time that's really cool as well and they put your pedometer your steps right here at the bottom so this thing has like a tracker for your steps inside of it um and uh yeah, that fingerprint sensor is actually nice right there on the side. Sometimes I actually do power off the phone by accident because this thing is a little easy to click sometimes. It's super clicky. So just keep that in mind. But next thing I wanted to talk about about, about this device, it has a nice decent weight to it, 204 grams of weight, but it's all plastic. Now let's talk about the gaming on this device. Just keep in mind guys, you will only be able to use balanced or medium on this device since it has a, you know, a lower uh, processing. Um, well, the screen is a lower density. It's a medium density display. But basically what I like about this device, it has 128 gigabytes of ROM. So you can put a lot of games on here and pretty much uh, load those up on here as many as you want. Now, what's really cool about this device is it's gonna be having the P60 processing chip so with the four gigabytes of ram i'm noticing a little bit of stutters on here so let me turn off wi-fi guys hold on okay there we go that should that should fix the issues and we're gonna just play this on 4g Got him. So it just jammed right when I did that. Wait, are you kidding me? Come on. All right, here we go. Oh, there's a guy right there. Yeah, this, this feels really smooth, guys. I can't even complain right now. It's, it feels really smooth. Every, every kill I want to get, I'm getting. This is nuts. Hold on, let me see. There's a guy right here. He's on my team. Wow, this, this is playing really good, or just the other team is just trash. These might be bots, I think. Yeah, that, that's what's happening right now, but um, next thing I wanna talk about is battery life. So as far as the battery life, the standby time on this device is really good. Uh, it hasn't powered off in the five days I've had it. I mean, I did charge it up to a charger, but it was only for like 20 minutes at a time. So the, uh, the charging, um, will fluctuate if I show you the pattern. So I don't really, that doesn't really, um, I'll show you anyway, but let me show you the storage on this device right now. We do get 97 available after all the apps are downloaded. So when you take a look at the storage on this device available after, you can just see you have so much storage to play around with, a lot of movies you can take on here. Uh, you know what I mean? So um, it's just a really, really nice ex as far as storage goes. You won't have any issues with that. Now you do get a lot of ultra battery savers, more power saver, 
You can optimize the battery right here as well. And it does also offer app optimization for bet. Um, you can make force apps to close and things of that nature. Um, you can put the battery percentage bar up top as well. Um, let me see. Put it inside that or just leave it like that. I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, after five days of using this thing, the battery has been extremely impressive. Like I said before, we get Android 10 on here. And one of the thing I, I, I like about this device is the animations are really smooth. Um, so let me just show you when you go to the wallpapers, you can see that this one is like a moving wallpaper. I don't know if you can see that. It's not doing it now, but watch this. When you go to wallpaper, these first three move like this one moves and then this one is a moving wallpaper and so is this one and then you have like these other ones that just look really really sick like high density and uh i just like how they did that so like you could just click one and then click right back into the screen that's how easy it looks and then you can see it just looks it's, the animations on here are really really good the speeds on here are fast as heck so has 4g on here um 3g for phone calls so I'm using the Mint Mobile, like I said before, but it says T-Mobile up top. But um, guys, after five days of using this device, I'm really impressed with the overall uh, battery life of it. Now let's talk about the cameras of this device. Now I'll go into, I wanna recommend um, you go get the Gameo Zone gallery right here. So you could disconnect your, um, you know, basically it lets you, let me see, is this password protected? Yeah, okay, cool. So it's actually password protected, but you don't have to use the default um, Google Photos app. So this is pretty cool, but I took a few shots. This is with the normal mode right here. You can see it takes, um, it takes, let me put it on auto rotate. And you can see it gets um, night mode right here. We have uh, a lot of different uh, options to choose from hotspot. Uh, this is the lock screen. Wow, that's interesting that they put that there. Let me see what else I do. I'm just trying to get this thing to auto rotate. Let's see. That's weird. Okay, I'll just show you like this. So this picture looks really clear as you can see it's with the regular camera. And um, these cameras take really good pictures of just like small objects. So let me show you. I took a few more with the macro camera. This one was when, when in low light, so it got a little fuzzy, like it usually would on most cameras. But then when you put it back into the light, guys, that's when it shines. So let me show you. That was like, a, that was still in the low light, but look right here, it's just a lot of detail captured on here uh, on the macro camera. This is with the macro camera. Um, so you're, you're able to get some really good shots with the macro camera. Look how detailed that is on, on uh, the helmet and the gas mask. So I, I really like the macro camera for really close up shots. As you can see right here, it's just going to get a lot of detail, all the dust particles uh, around me. The cameras did a decent job as far as stabilization. They weren't like the best in the world, but you could see when I was like walking, you could see how the video would look. Um, one of the things I liked was that it, it had good autofocus when you when you put it up on objects. So when I walked up to this meter thing, you could see that the camera focused in on um, like all the the nozzles and, and things of that nature. So I didn't, it didn't have any issues like with that. But then when I got back to the street, it didn't focus automatically, which was weird. I had to press the focus. Outdoors, the photos are cool. You get a wide angle camera right here. And um, I guess it doesn't um, rotate when you do it this way, but this is the wide angle and then this is the normal angle. So you can see I got the cars on the street and the house is here. And then this and with the regular mode, you don't get that. It just cuts it off. So it gives you more detail with the wide angle. And you can see this is the wide, this is the regular mode and this is the wide angle. So still, still some pretty good detail there with the wide angle as well and the cars in the street and the houses, they captured that. I think that's pretty cool that this has a wide angle. The wide angle has darker blacks. I kind of like that a little bit. Wait, hold on. Yeah, and then I could see more of the, the artwork on the truck. That's pretty cool. 
um yeah and then it took some decent portrait shots this is a regular one and then this is a portrait so yeah i like the cameras on this device guys but as far as phone calls and things of that nature you can take phone calls on on 3g and the 4g works on mint mobile and it's it's flawless there's no slowdowns i'm not experiencing any he any headaches when it comes to the network everything loads exceptionally quick just how it would if i was using a regular device on metro t-mobile cricket or anything like that but um yeah we do get android 10 on here so i kind of like the experience but let me know what you guys think down below and i'll get right back with you later crew peace